In the fall and winter months, I like to ride just before sunrise because it extends my riding season and opens up a lot more opportunities for me to stay fit. Mountain biking is the primary way I get exercise and relieve stress, but it gets difficult when the days get shorter. If you can relate to that, you might want to try biking in the dark. In this video, I've put together seven tips for you to consider as you venture out. I like riding in the dark because there's a lot of benefits beyond just fitness. The trails are less crowded. A lot of the old trails I ride feel new. They definitely don't look the same in the dark. And it's improved my bike handling skills, specifically my reaction time. Whether you're considering riding in the dark for the first time or you're a seasoned vet checking out this video, here are a few things I think you need to know. My first tip is to ride a trail you're familiar with or ride with someone who's familiar with it. If you're riding in a residential area, keep in mind that most people don't like lights shining in their windows at 3 a.m., so you might want to keep the rowdy down. Riding alone in the dark is not a good idea. It's definitely best to find a riding partner, ideally someone who's a little less crazy than you. If you're going to ride alone, just make sure to remember that the trails are a lot less crowded, so if you get injured, there might not be anyone to come along and pick up the pieces. Definitely bring a phone and let someone know where you're going. One of the most important things you're going to need is a light. Maybe even two. There are a lot of different light kits that will get the job done at a lot of different price points, so find something that works in your budget. If you're going to mount your light on your bars, uh, make sure it's not pointing down at the ground or up so that as you look over your bars it blinds you in your peripheral vision. You're going to want to have it pointing out and down the trail about 15 to 20 feet. Now, if you're out riding on the trail and you have someone else riding with you and they have a brighter light kit than you do and they're right behind you, it's going to cast a shadow right in front of you. That's going to cause some blind spots that can be difficult to see the trail. So either have them spaced back a little bit and that'll light up more of your, more of your field of view or if you have a light kit that's the same brightness as theirs, obviously that'll solve the problem too. One of the things I've noticed when riding with just a single spot on the handlebars is that all the blind spots start to fatigue my eyes pretty quickly after about 30 minutes. But one of the things you can do to combat that is have a good flood on your handlebars and then mount a spot on your helmet so that as you go into a corner, it's lighting up the corner and also the trail has a good field of view. When I'm riding in the dark, I lose depth perception. So keep that in mind when the trail gets sketch. Uh, rocks, roots, jumps, berms, all those technical features definitely get a lot more interesting. Riding in the dark definitely feels faster because of the narrower field of view. I remember the first time I rode, it felt so fast and I was disappointed when I got back to the car and thought I had set a PR on a segment. I wasn't even close. My advice here would be to start out slow, ride within your means, and the speed will come. When you're riding in the dark, it's so important to keep good foot and body position on the bike. Now is definitely not the time to get lazy. If you maintain attack position on the bike when you get up to speed, it's going to help you react to the trail much more quickly and calmly. I know that when I ride in the dark, I make a lot of subtle adjustments on my bike when I'm responding to the trail, and I can tell that's improving my skills overall. Obviously, riding in the dark doesn't negate the need to wear one of these, but I'd also advise if you're new to riding in low light situations, uh, consider wearing some basic knee protection. It's really easy to catch a pedal, come up and miss a corner, or even uh, come across a trail hazard like a down tree or something else. Ultimately, you're gonna have to pick out what you wear to stay healthy, but keep in mind, nobody can see what you're wearing at night, so be smart. As a bonus tip, I always make sure that my bike is in good working condition before I go out for a night ride. I don't want to do any kind of involved maintenance while I'm out on the trail. I thought I'd share one of the coolest things I've ever seen when riding in the dark. Uh, I was going down a trail just before dawn, uh, and I looked up just in time to see a barred owl aboarding a full dive up my helmet. Uh, four to six inches above my head. The wings flapped, it shot up into the trees. Uh, I didn't get it on video, but I do have a feather to show for it. I'd be curious to know what's the craziest thing you've ever come across when riding in the dark. I hope you can get out and enjoy the trails. We'll see you next time.